Hi, my name is Story Wilson, and we're sitting at a 1996 Range Rover. The purpose of this video is to quickly demonstrate the functionality of the EAS Buddy Box and how easy it is to use. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the car, and you'll see that I actually have an EAS fault stored. It's not pleasant. It all happens to all of us. Even the best maintained car will eventually have an EAS fault. Now we're going to go ahead and move over to the OBD2 port, which is underneath the dashboard in the footwell of your car. And we'll go ahead and plug in the EAS buddy box and uh, clear the fault. I'll show you how simple it is. Here we are in the footwell of my North American spec Range Rover. In the background you can hear the EAS fault chirping away. It's uh, cycling on the dash, as you'd expect, during an EAS fault. So what I have in my left hand here is the EAS Buddy Box. And on the left, there's a red LED. That red LED is a symbol for power and transmit. The yellow LED in the center illuminates when the EAS Buddy Box is receiving communications back from the car. The green LED on the right illuminates when the EAS Buddy Box has attempted to clear the fault in your car. In the upper center portion of the field, you can see the OBD2 port. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the EAS Buddy Box and we'll watch it cycle through its commands. The red LED eliminates for power, turns off the EAS, turns on the EAS, communicates, and clears the fault. Now, you'll notice that the dashboard has stopped beeping and the EAS fault has been cleared. It's as simple as that. Now at this point, your car is ready to go. Now, it's very important to note that it is up to you, the owner and the driver of the vehicle, to determine if it's safe to drive. You have to remember that the EAS system in the Range Rover has been designed with a failsafe, and that failsafe is the EAS fault. And using the EAS Buddy Box, you bypass that failsafe, and the potential exists that you may drive your vehicle in an unsafe condition. So it's up to you to determine if your vehicle is safe to drive, and at the first opportune moment, you need to take your vehicle to a mechanic or a dealership so they can determine what caused the EAS fault in the first place. Never drive around on a broken suspension. This tool is simply designed to get you back on the road driving on a safe suspension so that you can immediately take it to someone who knows what they're doing to fix the problem permanently. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative and I hope you buy my product. Thank you.